What's up guys, Jack here. Welcome back to another edition of Talking Ball. Today I'm going to be discussing Duke's freshman class heading into the 2016-17 season and some of my first thoughts on them. Now for Harry Giles and Jason Tatum, they've both been injured in the early part of the season. Tatum is expected to be ready for the opener against Marist. But both those guys are, are obviously the top tier premier prospects and there's a little bit more, you know, you've seen them in tournaments and a little more footage on those two players. So I'm going to cover more of the other four freshmen. Uh, Frank Jackson, for example, he's been very athletic, but, you know, I don't, I'm not sure he's ready for a point guard role. Uh, he seems to be more of a scorer than anything, and so I think it's going to take him time to adjust to that role, if that's the role they want to play him at, and I'm not even sure that's the case. I think they just want to, you know, get everyone's best abilities, whatever they can do best this season, and they're not going to look to pigeonhole anyone into that point guard role, whether that's Matt Jones or Grayson Allen or Luke Kennard or Frank Jackson. But in terms of Frank, you know, he's obviously very athletic. Uh, the guy... Very quick, uh, defensively especially, it's going to be uh, special watching him and, and a couple other players uh, as well this season. Marquise Bolden is just enormous. Uh, he's just a mountain of a man. I mean, a man who is a freshman, but still, he he is very uh, offensively, you know, he can turn over his right shoulder, his left shoulder. And, you know, he's still developing his moves down there, but still, he looks pretty solid for a freshman. And at that, you know, he's not someone they're going to count on to score all that often. Um, I, would, I wouldn't I would be surprised if he averages less than 10 points a game, but his big body is going to be more of an impact than anything, especially on the defensive glass. Now, Jack White and Javin Delorier are the two less heralded freshmen, but both of them have looked pretty solid so far. Deloria in particular, um, he's got some freakish athleticism, very fast, he's fluid, uh, and his, his offensive game I still think is developing, and so therefore I wouldn't expect him to play too much time on the court this year, but in terms of in transition and defensively, he's already very, very good. And Jack White, uh, he just seems like a very intelligent basketball player through watching the first couple of exhibition games. He can shoot it. Uh, he's he's an intelligent passer. He knows where to be, both offensively and defensively already. But again, for with him, uh, I just think that there's a little more talent ahead of him, and so he's definitely going to be a four-year player, and he's going to be a, a pretty solid player at that. I think you can already tell, but I don't expect him to have a large impact on this year's team. Guys, let me know what you think. In the comments below, please remember to check out our blog at talkingballblog.wordpress.com and subscribe to get more great content that we're going to produce. Do you guys think, though, that the, these freshmen are going to have a great impact or maybe they're a little bit hyped up too much similar to last year's team? Let me know in the comments below and please remember to like and share this video. Thanks for listening.